This is the hydrate lab where we're going to try to figure out the formula of a hydrate. Uh, hydrates are ionic compounds that have water molecules loosely bonded to their crystal structure. The hydrate that we're working with today is copper sulfate hydrate. It looks like this. Uh, it has water inside of it, but it still looks and feels dry. Uh, it looks like any other salt crystals. Uh, to figure out the formula of a hydrate, what we're going to do is heat it. When you heat a hydrate, you can remove the water. The water will turn to vapor and evaporate, and you'll be left behind with an anhydrous salt. That means the salt without water. So to do this, we're going to use a crucible. We'll find the mass of our empty crucible first. And the mass of our empty crucible is 24.36 grams. 24.36 grams for our empty crucible. And now we'll take a sample of the copper sulfate hydrate, put it into our crucible, and put that on our balance. And we find out that the mass of the hydrate is 30.52 grams. 30.52 grams for our hydrate. So next we're going to heat it. So to heat it, we'll put it up on the ring stand and turn on a Bunsen burner. We would light the Bunsen burner and heat it. Uh, as it's heated, it's going to drive the water out of the hydrate and leave behind the anhydrous salt. Uh, when this happens, I forgot one that I already did earlier, so this is what the hydrate looked like. It was a bright blue color. And the anhydrous salt, you can see all the water has been removed and it changed the color. And so now we'll find the mass of the anhydrous salt in the crucible. And the mass of the anhydrous salt and the crucible is 28.31 grams. So you can take the difference in mass to figure out how much water evaporated, and you can figure out how much anhydrous salt was remaining. You can convert each of those from grams to moles, and then you can figure out the ratio between copper sulfate and water, and that will tell you the formula of the hydrate.